Okay. Okay, then. So now I think it will be good. So recording, right? Thanks to Sudanda so for your message. Yes. So I'm just repeating. So today we are focusing on what are the things like in a Python and a SQL, Python, DataBricks, and a ADF. That is the one thing I just want to share with you. So that will help you to do these kind of thing in your data engineering life will be become easier. So you can see in this chart, this is the Python one, okay? In this Python one, uh, when you're going into the interview or normal in a daily life, we are focusing on the lift, okay? Every time lift, we need to be focused and the string, tuple, set and dictionary, these kind of things definitely we will get a question. That is called the simple data types of the Python, okay? If you're coming from any other uh, languages, this is enough, this is needed. Then input output format, then conditional, okay? Different conditional, uh, less than, greater than, these kind of things, how you can apply in a given program. Then for and loop concept, okay? If you're coming from, see how many of them coming from the programming background, please let me know in the chat. How many of them programming from any, any of the programming, like uh, Java, Scala, or .NET, and the previous one. See how many of them coming from the uh, programming background? Python, okay. Okay, Lakshmi, you also given the, yes. So the first thing, I'm getting a lot of requests, ma'am, okay, the, or David. So I'm from different background, I'm able to uh, do these kind of transition to data engineering field. So the my answer is you can able to do, but if you are intention and if you are ready to learn, definitely you can transform your career into data engineering field. But I'm telling you, like you, Python is most important these days because in the 2019 in the in the, in the previous batches I already mentioned about Python was most important. But that's a slight change in right now. I'm telling like. PySpark has a more important role because they are more using the large amount of data. Okay, large amount of data that we need to handle. Then Python or the PySpark with the capability of the, of the PySpark is needed to do these kind of things. Okay, so definitely you need to be focused on uh, the Python and PySpark. That is the first thing we are doing once we completed this session because today is 19, 20, and you, I will give you some kind of things also for you, the last thing. So I'm just closing this batch. I think for the long time you are waiting for my session on my, uh, in the WhatsApp group itself. Yesterday, everyone is not accommodated because the Zoom was not able to do. So I will tell you, uh, this batch, we need to be start on uh, 20. So the 20 onwards, we will be kind of a dedicated kind of Things are known. Okay, the how the things will be processed. These kind of things I will be adding to everyone. Then you can see here data types. The data types contain list, string, tuples, and dictionary. But if you are getting more questions, the interview point of view and uh, as a data engineer point of view, sometimes we are more advanced knowledge of the data, like data structures also, like how the list is working, list slice, list comprehension. This is working. This is very important. And condition, uh, mathematical condition, these conditions, how we can apply. Loop concept, for loop, while loop, uh, these kind of, uh, how it will be applied for an iterative level. Then if else, like a nested if else, and function. Uh, different function, how, means custom for the function also there, inbuilt the functions also there, how we can implement in our real life project, lambda function, exception handling module file handling is not needed but we need to some kind of things also then import libraries this same thing we need to know once you know the python and the sql you need to know the pyspar also so this is the one for the sql code also i'm telling like so the sql also you can see here SQL also, you need to have a clear idea about the target. Okay, what are the target like databases, table, view, 
constraints or indexes. Okay, you need to be have a specific idea about this one. Then DDL. DDL means if you have the knowledge about uh, how it will be working, then okay, DDL create alter drop truncate the statement where we can use it. Then DML insert update these kind of things. Uh, yes. Definitely, because I'm getting a one question. Mm. Yes, definitely, we need to be expert. We need to be practiced because I can able to share the notes. Right? You need to be practiced and share in the group also. So that is the one thing is the best way. Okay, in a group itself, we are allocating some time. Try to learn and implement those things in your words or in your thinking, your computer. Then only otherwise the teaching is not enough for you can able to crack the index. That is the reason you are not able, the people are not able to crack him. It's not impossible because when you're coming into the interview, what will happen? The people are asking the same question. So definitely we will be safe. But the interview will say that time only we can learn okay, how we are uh, means standing right away. Then insert update, delete, then grand revoke, then coming into T. Uh, TBL, it will be like commit, draw back, save point. These things also you need to be very aware about when de dealing with these kind of things. Then with clause, okay, with clause, every time the interviewers are asking the question like, uh, what is the difference between the subqueries and the TTEs? So if you want to know about this thing, then you can answer. Then correlated queries, which is better? How we can improve the performance? So if you are digging on that one only, we can once I share, you need to be put a lot of effort from your side. Then only you can able to clear these kind of questions. And in your project also, you can able to do this one. Then union, union or intersection, then window function. These days, large amount of data set handling we need to uh, learn about overclose, raw number, rank, dense rank, some count, mean, max, average, lead, lag, until draw frame close range between these kind of things definitely you need to know but when you're taking in one session what we can do we can take in a longer time because one month is definitely one or more than one month is needed because the topic is vast that is the reason i just compacted this entire syllabus into three months of time then two months we need to be like an interview preparation okay interview preparation means extensive interview preparation like i'm giving some practical assignments to you you need to be complete next day we can we can discuss then only we can various in otherwise the portion will be vast because you you already are aware about sql is vast python is vast spicebark is vast and assure concept itself is vast we cannot complete within these kind of things but at least some basic things and some advanced concepts we learn and we need to self-learning as a community that is the best option we can prove your capability in any of the people then there's a dql and the case statement that checks expression date function date function is always important and the substring function college function mind map lookup pivot table okay these things always important in our session then coming into the so I will share this also for the screenshot. Coming into the ADF part. Okay, in the ADF part, I will tell you the DP2 not yesterday. I share I shared the two links, right? Okay, I will share the PPT. Once we complete this thing, I will share with you. So you can see here there are ADF. ADF is there. ADF and the data brick synapse is the three main component of the session. So here itself, we ADF is an ETL kind of tool. ETL kind of tool, there is a no much invest. They just taking the data from outside and uh, just importing into a particular place like a DLS Gen 2 or any other storage location. That is the one thing they are doing. There's nothing else it will be doing. Only that is the reason in when implemented in the Synapse data warehouse concept, this ADF, ADF plus one storage account is there. Then ingestion, control flow, data flow, schedule, monitor. Uh, data flow is okay. We can perform some of the aggregation, these kind of things in the data. But most probably when I work in a lot of projects, they are more focused on the pipeline itself rather than this one. But if you have, if you don't have the data in that particular project, 
we can view the data flow above for performing the aggregate function. But if you have a database, this kind of aggregation performance will be done on the database only. Okay. Then pipeline, mapping data flows, activities, data movement, data transformation, three types of activities are there. Almost, I think, 40 plus activities are there. Data movement. Data movement means just a data taken from a, any of the sources to cloud. Because our ultimate aim is any data moving into the cloud. So the connector definitely we need to get from the outside itself. Uh, um, okay, one more question I will ask in you. Asking the team also is Kafka. Kafka is like a streaming kind of thing. We are not using Kafka right now. And uh, one more thing I just want to know. Uh, do you do you set up any kind of system or previously when I worked on 2009 2016 my starting my career it was like an SQL server everything was saving the SQL server and some kind of data warehousing concept also there but now it is like entirely changes and uh, there are a lot of things like an Oracle DB moving to the storage upon stack system and SQL everything need to be moved and safe place in a cloud that is the reason Azure Data Engineering is very demanding right now. So people are moving into or migrating the data into the cloud. Data movement, data transformation activities, control flow activities, and data set should be CSV, Agro, Parquet, or you mentioned like Kafka. There are streaming kind of thing and ORC binary text files. This is also available there. Then link the service. That's a connection. Okay, connection means uh, we are passing the username and password. It is correct only it will be moving into the cloud so that means we will link the services integration runtimes different integration runtimes self-hosted integration runtime auto resolved assure SSI integration runtime then triggers uh mean that some of the files are processing daily some of the files are processing uh one uh, means in the twice a day maybe one every one hour so we need to learn that also then only we can able to deliver with a good quality item. So these are the main thing we need to be focused as a data engineer. But this is like a basic overview I'm telling. I'm, we need to be learn more about uh, in this structure and all, okay? Then I'm just, uh, one more question. Can you please share the Spark syllabus? So in a data engineer, I already told you yesterday's class, uh, there is no much Spark content we don't need to aware about we don't need to do that one the cloud version i'm again telling the cloud version of spark is called as uh, data means in the data brings maybe you are talking about big data see don't confuse about different kinds of data engineering three types of data engineering is there one is whoever working in a cloud that means whoever dealing with the azure cloud and AWS cloud and the GCP cloud. This is called a cloud data engineer. So that is the category I am providing the training to you. Okay. Then next one will be the data engineer. Data engineering is the on-premise kind of their product-based companies and all sometimes the previous it was demanding, but right now I think everyone is moving into the cloud. So demanding of these cloud technologies are very important. Then Spark plus Hadoop. Uh, and Java kind of coding is required for uh, for a data engineering kind of thing. Okay. The next one will be the on premise Azure. The previously the uh, people are working with the SSIS and all. So that was moving into the Azure also, cloud also. It's called another set of data engineers. So three categories are there. So uh, yes, actually I'm just getting a question also. With the PySpark question, PySpark I will share with you that there are a lot of things are there. I'm already, uh, there is a series is ongoing in my LinkedIn profile, but I just want to, uh, mean, I will train you, then only you will get much things from my side. Data engineering with the cloud of actually, cloud of amount of time required to learn data engineering with the Python. Definitely it will take some time. Be patient. We learn from scratch. If you are completely beginner, it will take some, that is the reason I already told you, it will take uh, three to five months of time. Then I'm moving into the data session. Okay, the data session. This one I'm just more focusing this time because uh, we don't need to 
learn all the things right whatever the demanding in the industry we learn it grab a job practice it then if you want you can switch your job because people are getting with the, i think pressures also uh, after the bit of means at the age of 21 they are getting 10 to 12 lakh of lp in the normal kind and 8 to 10 12 or uh, 12 lakh of at that time if your salary is very low it was very difficult okay that is the one thing i just want to share with you so database certification as a community we already clear here single stretch assure database engineer we cleared so that is put a lot of hard work to learn about these things and share with the people and all so you can join us also for learning these kind of things upgrade upgrade delta lake and auto loader these kind of exposure we need then certification point of view three certification data lake associated professional okay these are the very i think data lake house fundamentals is very kind of simple one but coming into the data engineering database engineer and the data brick professional there's no dumps is available so definitely it will be a difficult part so but we need to be prepared each and every point and to identify the pattern that is the best option you can do this one then next one will be workspaces so in the database itself there is a workspace team to access the database asset accounts okay whoever newly coming into the data they need to be co coming into data itself that means for the account so include the com uh, com multiple workspace dbu how many dbus need to be added here based on the item dbo database unit user service principles group acl and uh, acl means normally we are have a pi personal identifiable information are there so sometimes client is mentioned this table contain pi so don't lose this data so encryption we need to apply then only we can perform otherwise because bank account their personal very important information so it will be privacy right so that is also we need to consider then data science and engineering is like a three tasks are there first thing will be data science and engineering data bricks uh sql and machine learning this data science and engineering tab will be help you us to do these kind of engineering activity workspace notebook dashboard library repo and experiment then uh they can see here data of interface like rest api and cli command line in the space also available data manage this is like a vast subject i will teach you how it will be like that then data management db utilities database file system that is the first thing dbfs databases table that is the way we are storing the data in the database then delta table meta store visualization okay then next one will be the computation management is like a cluster if you run, run long data you need to be cluster configure the cluster but it is also very difficult uh, if the size will be increases what will happen it will be uh, the size cost also very high so we need to be very frank um, very uh, when you carefully if you use the payoff you go up from the database communication okay you can use it but payoff you go once you complete you need to be drop up otherwise it will be charged two thousand three thousand and four thousand okay so that is very important then coming into sql uh sql rest api dashboard sql queries machine learning point of view we can do this is machine learning point of view it will be more doing on the ml engineer so these are the main thing main item we need to be focused on these period and the data dsa but this time we need to be learn about what are the very important things dsa we need the last time i just covered the vast kind of thing but it will be very vast dsa portion but this time we need to be you know whatever the things you want okay that only we need to be learn don't need to go through complete dsa I will share with you. Okay, with the Python, I will share with you. Okay, these are the things you need to be know about. Then five part. So I think you get a clear idea how you can move your transformation into data engineering or Azure data. Three three data engineers, but currently the booming thing is Azure data. Engineer. I tell you like that. There are a lot of offerings out there in UK, US, Canada. In, in India, is first thing. India, UK, US, Canada, Netherlands, Australia, everywhere the Azure data engineering has a huge demand. So learn the skill as soon as possible, uh, crack the interviews, grab the offer letter. That is the one thing you can do from your side also. 
I will share these things also. Once we complete our boot camp, I will share these things also. Then, yeah, see, I think, I think you need to be discussed with me for some time, right? So I'm just, if you have any kind of doubt, you can ask me in the chat also. I will definitely answer you. The first thing I'm just getting here. Um, yes, we don't need Java. Okay, team, we don't need Java because we need only Python right now. Because Java is very uh, like a deep kind of concept. We don't need Java. We need Python at this time. Then, um, so Azure, AWS and Azure. This Azure. Next question, which cloud service is easy to use? Azure or AWS or GCP. Okay. So I will tell you like, uh, to be honest speaking, I will tell you like, um, every cloud has almost similar kind of thing. But the difference is like that their name and their services are different. But almost everything is same. But if you check on the job market, you can see like that Azure has more demanding job openings are there. So that is the reason I just want to share with you. If you really want to jump your career into the Azure thing, you can move. Or the, you want to jump your career with the highest paid job, you can go the Azure, take it and learn those skills, implement it, attend the interview, crack the offer. Um, Mahesh, placement means? Mahesh, actually, placement means we have uh, I have a connection with the recruiters because in my previous batches also, I shared my my uh, friend, my colleagues uh, profiles into the different recruiters. Okay, so they are choosing the the shortlist. I already told you, right? Shortlisting will be uh, shortlisting will be easier. But whatever the things I am sharing with you, right? If you follow those tips and tricks in your path, at least three months of time. Your resume definitely will be shortlisted. Otherwise, it will not be shortlisted because other potential candidates would have more preference rather than you. But if I'm sharing some tips and tricks, you follow at least three months. Okay, three months of continuous dedication, consistency. What you will get, you can easily get a shortlisting your profile. Once you shortlisted, whatever I'm sharing, right? Whatever the things I shared for you for the interview preparation, it also just learn it, practice it go for the interview you can crack the interview also hmm? then do we need learn python dsa for service based companies uh for the service based companies i i think don't need the dsa but you need to be focused on the productive based companies definitely you need to be learn about dsa then do we have the recording as well if we miss any session definitely recording because uh, we all are working professional. Me also working professional. I also put my 24 hours for my work to complete work and all. After that, I'm taking the session for my passion. So definitely recording will be there. Once my session is completed, within 15 or 30 minutes, I will upload in our web portal. You can access from that. Time. That means try to complete the same day. Then I think I answered all the questions, right? Then um no actually one one uh, certification i already completed a dp could not see certification uh means 30 days videos is there and the document also there that you, that i will give you completely free uh for this is the set of this one okay this learning thing will be like a combat thing about complete azure data engineering thing whatever the things you want that I will include it in this one. So everything I will share with you. Then Azure Stream Analytics. Azure Stream Analytics also I will cover you at least two, three sessions. But we don't need to do much of that one. Two, three sessions, that is enough. But if you get a new requirement in your company, you can do that one. Okay. Then what is the average package one can expect after the course for four to five years of experience? And what were the last batch status now in terms of job offer okay so i think um see that actually average package you can expect i think uh, four to five years experience it should be 15 to 15 normal package two three years of experience the girls girl and one boy getting 16 okay 16 and the 18 offer then uh this four to five years it will be 
15 to 25 will be the normal offer but there are some reason there are some um, fluctuation will be like you have a counter offer the editors are ready to willing more offer the higher offer and based on your performance on the interview so that is another thing okay so what was this last batch status now in terms of uh, okay uh, what was the uh, status of the last batch okay the last batch is i will tell you team so i am just starting this the last batch like a my passion and helping the people initially it was like a 10 people and uh, at the means now it's like 67 in that batch okay that means my complete session so it will be like 67 people were there out of 67 everyone is working almost everyone is working and uh, i think almost uh, 12 offers to be honest 12 offers 12 and uh, uh, three are in the pipeline okay so that means whoever consistently attending that means the 20 people are consistent out of 67 20 people are consistently attending and the 15 got offered okay uh, 12 currently got offered three in the pipeline and five are preparing for the interviews and all so that will be the status of the current batch so it is completely dedication but i'm telling you if you are consistent and with the uh, with the help of the highest energy people around you you can crack the job offer so i already shared one of the success stories in my linkedin profile plus the youtube also for the vision board you can check there then uh yes actually uh thing i just didn't get to your cross skill what about if you are a cross skilling that i'm not sure can you can you elaborate this question then do we covering big data as well distributed processing with the five parts uh, we don't need to cover big data concept we will be covering full on the cloud because i already told you right big data is another concept big data is a data engineering profile our in our azure data our cloud data engineering we need the cloud version of uh, uh the cloud version of Part is called the data bricks. That is the one thing we are focusing this way. That is a huge demanding in the industry. If you are specialized on this one, you will get whatever the question, whatever the package you are asking to interview, they will ready to give that one. Okay. Then um, do we cover in the big data as well as distributed processing with the five pages? I will cover. Then if Azure is free or paid. Um, actually, Amul, Azure is not free it's like a paid one to be to be frank it's like a paid one you can search anywhere it's very high cost demanding one in azure it's a cloud right you can think about it's a cloud one when you're storing the data into the cloud definitely you need to pay in a large amount of data it's it's a paid one it's highly paid system it's called azure for the cloud computing that is the reason i'm not able to give this course as a free because everything working as a paid system so definitely you need to pay something that is the reason okay then will we get the dumps for astro dp 900 dp 200 yes i will provide the dumps of dp 900 dp 203 uh, data like fundamentals and the data with associated also okay i will provide from my side then this course is designed for beginner or intermediate or expert level because the person of five or eight year 10 years of experience even freshers also how the 10 years of experience guy exposed work okay so uh if you have you can think about they are asking to in if an interviewer will call you you are asking you whatever your relevant experience what is your total experience what is your relevant experience and to be honest the Azure Data Engineering started in the 2019. That means almost four years, four and a half years of, or four years, okay, just four years of, four or three years of exposure of the Azure Data Engineer. The kind of booming happened from 2020 onward. 20, 2020, 21, 22, 23. That means almost four years is like a booming. So recruiters also know. If the it is like in the previously there's no experience level is dependent on that one 
it is completely new technology so based on that one they will be calculate if you have a four years of experience they will calculate you are a kind of a expert on that one if you tell like three or two they are considered as a senior if you tell about one year of experience you can consider as a junior so this is the thing so if your experience in is aligned with the different thing maybe 10 years is not completely on the assure so assure i am telling like almost 4 years it has like a booming okay i think now you got an uh, answer for your question then if we fail any of the interview and want some insight from you will our uh, will your connect individually to guide us where we can lagging and why should i improve okay and your bible will tell you this question do you think like that if you this question is for like a personal matter okay but i have also limitation uh because coming into because i am I'm, i'm just seeing you i'm personally connect with you at least twice a week or at least once a week that time only i have because you are seeing me from 5 am club okay the morning 5:30 to 5:45 i will be there after that 7 am to 8 or 8 maybe some days it will be there will be i will be for the interview preparation class with you as a live everything is live and the evening also i will be come with you for on our live session for the training so that means you can spend with me almost 3 hours almost 3 hours something 3 and 2 and 1/2 hour with me okay so my busy hours i am dedicating for my community two and half hour any of the trainer do like this so it will be i will guide you because in the live session itself i am i'm i'm just calling people and ask you okay if you have any doubt are you prepared for the interview and i'm giving some time also and definitely this individually i am i'm calling you but every day it is not possible for anyone any of the trainer is not doing that otherwise you need to be uh, give like a complete end to end mentorship that will be really costly like right? people have so but in the perspective i will definitely help you okay then the next one will be uh, but i will definitely because my duty if you are fail in the interview you want to become try to crack the internet that is my intention personally my intention that is the reason you are coming and joining my community right that is my goal in 2023 i have few goals in my life so almost five goals i already completed sixth goal i am on the whoever going with the my batch in this batch and my previous batch also they are precious for me they are my first batch so whoever preparing for the interview what are the things they want definitely i want to stay with them at least i want to crack some some companies from vision board there are a lot of people from helping hand so that is the one thing then next one i just want to address uh five pass syllabus looks too small and data and skill data and skill five pass most important okay uh but five pass syllabus if looks small means it will be same as it was same as python and all but practice if i am starting okay i already started a series that also you can you can give getting from right, free from the vision board website itself but pipa syllabus is not small i am telling you again this course is more intensive on the pipa beginner intermediate and advanced then database database is same because we are writing the pipa code in the database itself then if any assure services are expensive if assure services so how will we perform hands on okay this is good question so definitely assure services are uh, means expensive you need to be use your credit card at least for one month free trial and for the database you can use the community edition once you practice and you are okay with the, these two ways means in the assure for the assure free trial version and the database community edition and if you are okay with that one you need to it's after the 3 months old already you just think about paid version otherwise if you if you forego to uh, means stop the system what will happen in there thing will be lose from because in there money will be lose so that is very important so you can use this one then 
um, you can take a free account and then give yes credit card yes that is the answer for deepak your question right that is the answer then next one live session timing should be live session timing should be 8:30 to 9:30 like every day you can invest one hour that's it one hour only you need to be invest and uh, uh, it will be three days three to four days in a week that means three to four days in monday evening thursday wednesday evening thursday evening will be 10:30 because if i want to go to office sometime it will be late but but friday and sunday will be off saturday we have a uh 2 uh, 10 am to 2 pm hmm? that will be the timing so that means in a in a weekly you will get 8 hours of time from my side in the course plus in the week preparation that means almost you can see me 15 hours i am dedicated for you for sharing my experience with you okay then next question team i believe we learned the fundamental will crack gaining knowledge um so actually fundamentals are very important if you the fundamentals are really clear you can able to get the interview and all and you can able to build the architect kind of roles otherwise it will not be possible then average cost of adf and data storage for our learning this will be different adf will not be charge much but if you are running like a scheduled trigger every day running scheduled triggers and all it will be charge high but coming into vm okay ashwar uh, vm and all it will be charge high then data but when you configure the data bus cluster if it is running one day you need to be pay 20 i mean uh, uh, 1500 or uh, 2000 i got some because i phone go to sometime what will happen i phone go to turn off and i i delete it in some time if i didn't delete this kind of bill i am getting then synapse also very costly i think one hour you need to pay like actually i i took the section about finance also one hour you need to pay 1000 to 2000 2000 per hour okay you can think like per session or one when we need to work on that one it will be charging like 1000 to 2000 that is that is too many right that is the one thing then we can use the community that is like i tell you community addition will be good to you i am including uh, normally the one project within we within complete one week we can do the one end to end project also like how implemented uh, how me uh, ci cd devops will be implemented there and adf database uh, these kind of thing then one database project also and one migration project i am showing with my current batch also but i face some limitation and connection but that is also another thing so that means almost three Ah, uh, three to kind of thing I will be share with you. As a kind of with the live explanation. For this actually class, I'm just telling like, ah, uh, I'm just closing off the batch because whoever really want, ah, uh, I'm just want them. Ah, uh, then I just want to, ah, uh, if the batch I think which in the either what will happen, it will be benefit for me and vision board community also. But it will not be like that, ah, uh, because I can accommodate my. uh mean bill sand or mean i should bill sand or but it will be uh, in decreasing the self care of the people so if i i need to individually connect with the people at least once a week and uh, how they know their problems and take some mock interview so i'm just learning few people that thing but this boot camp be just helping people and all okay yes i think i answered all of the question so thank you team thanks for joining tomorrow also i will share one more session for you uh, regarding the kind of whatever the things you want some documents i will share with you how it will be progress and some of the means real life scenarios i will introduce in front of you and regarding the interview process what are the things you want to know these are the things then have you uh, in the way preparation there is a one more course is there but i am not recommending this for every, everyone because whoever working in an ashwar only i am just recommending otherwise this course is not enough because i am not uh, not giving more on that one 
because I also have the time limit. But if you're working at least two, three years of experience, you can join with us. Five Bank Club, there is an uh, there is a one uh, WhatsApp group also. I think Five Bank Club, uh, so that you can join from there. Okay. So thanks team for joining the session. We can connect you tomorrow. I will share some of the uh, notes also and what are the document I have that also I will share with you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you team. Thank you so much.